Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is new tutorial session for you. In this session, we are going to create a web project in Visual Studio Code with the help of Maven. So guys, first thing first, you need to check that you have a right runtime setup on your Visual Studio Code. So this is the place where you will get this. First, you will install the important Java extension, then you will see this tab automatically and the Visual Studio Code will ask you that you have a right Java runtime setup or not. So as you can see on my machine, I have installed the JDK 11 for the proper setup. As you can see, there's a message language server requires JDK 11 plus to launch itself. So I have added this one. If you guys not have any specific requirement of any specific JDK. So you can proceed with this. Meanwhile, as you can see, we have the options if JDK is not there. So we have the options in the bottom section to download this. You can simply select the radio button uh, against the uh, appropriate JDK version, which you want and you can proceed. And guys, this is the important Java extension that you need to install extensions pack for Java. Once you install that, you will get this window. So uh, basically intent to tell you this thing, if you have a Java runtime set up properly, then you can proceed easily without any error in Visual Studio Code. So I hope you guys have set up JDK 11 and now we can proceed. So guys, first we have installed the Java extensions. Now we can create the project. So you will see this blue button. You need to click on this and you will see this drop down here. This is the options to create the web project with the help of Maven, Maven Arcs type web app. So you can proceed. I have just selected it, giving something that uh, group ID and this is the artifact ID which will become the name of your project. Once you click on it, this will ask you to save your project on a particular location. Suppose you just start creating the Visual Studio project. So I would suggest simply create a new folder for all your projects. So the same thing I'm following here. Do the right click, new folder. So I'm giving the name Visual Studio Code Workspace or my Visual Studio Code projects. That's it. Simply a new folder. Just select it and now Visual Studio Code will put your project inside this folder. You can see on the right hand side there's something in progress and uh, this is the activity performed by that Maven plugin. If you are trying to look for from where we get the Maven, you can see this is the extension pack for Java which comes with these uh, extension and this is the combination of different extension in which we have Maven as well. So this is already installed. So proceed this way on the bottom. You can see this will ask you for the version and then this will ask you to proceed. You have to press Y to proceed. Finally, you will see a message build success on the right hand side. You will see a message that your project is ready. You can open by clicking this open blue button. Also, you can open on the left hand, go to the on left hand side and there's a button open folder. So I will show you how you can open from the left hand side this open folder button. Click on it. This will prompt you a bra uh, directory browse window and just select where you have saved your project. Click on it and within a second, Visual Studio Code will read that folder and set up your project on the left hand side in this Explorer tab. See here. Now we have the demo project. You can see we have the such kind of directory structure. Let me expand it and I will explain you here. So we have the poem.xml on the root label. Also we have this SRC folder. Then we have a main folder inside SRC folder and we have web app folder inside the main. Also we have the web NF folder in which we have the web.xml. As you guys are aware about the any web project folder structure or directory structure and uh, on the right hand side this is asking me to install some dependent and useful 
plugin so i just clicked on it you can skip it nothing to worry and now in front of you this is the pom.xml of our project you can see there's a group id and we have the artifact id and there's a version previously we have given the version right so we just clicked the y that was wrong now the this is the place where we can correct it and at the line number 10 this is the packaging wall and this is the right place where you will define your dependencies if you want to use any dependency so you need to give that dependency at this place so guys here i'm going to create a simple servlet jsp web application so i will add the servlet dependency at this place and the rest of the default settings by the maven plugin now guys this is our index.jsp which is the very first jsp file which will load when we run our project so you will see cool id help when you hit the uh, url for your project this is our web.xml in which we will set up the servlet mapping and guys uh, you are thinking where is our main class or uh, where is our the java files so i will tell you where we are going to put first of all i want to show you the directory structure of simple web application to clarify the doubts what we are doing right here so at the root level pom.xml is present and we have the src folder inside the src we have the main and inside the main we have the java resources web app and web inf folder so as you can see web inf have a web.xml and web app has a index.jsp both are okay and in this notepad i have a one more folder resources so guys if you are going to use images any file pdf excel so you can put the resources file at this place and now the time is to create the java file and we are going to put it in the java folder so whatever the classes you are going to create you will put at this place inside the java folder but java folder is not present here in this demo project in vs code so guys we are going to create this java folder so here click on do the right click now you will get the option new folder click on it and then give the name of the folder so simply java folder is created now we can create the class file because we are going to write a servlet jsp application so we are all set uh, the notepad structure of the web application and our project folder structure is completely same only the difference we do not have the resources folder in our project which is not required for this session and guys uh, there is a program which is already written in my notepad so i will copy the code from this place and i will paste it in our project files to save the time so this is simple servlet jsp code so first i am uh, going to create a class file this way right click new file and uh, here you can give the name of the class so i am giving the name hello cool it help or you for your project you can give any useful name or you can follow the java convention naming conventions for, to create a class i have just simply created for the demo and now in this notepad we have this code ready i will copy and i will go back here in this class file and i will paste it here okay here we go and i have just saved this file okay guys so what we have seen here this is the problem we don't have these servlet classes resolved here and this is throwing me errors that these classes are not available so guys we are missing one thing we are using the pom.xml and this is the maven based project so we need to add the dependency we need to add servlet dependency here in this pom.xml so again what we will do we simply visit to the maven central and we simply copy the maven dependency from that place and i will come back here and just 
paste it here. You can see I have added this servlet dependency. So whatever version you need, you simply go with that. And on the right hand side, you will see a message suddenly because you have updated the pom.xml in this so Maven plugin going to download the servlet jars, which is required for your project in M2 directories. So all the, all the jars are downloaded. And now still we are getting this error. So guys, we are forgetting one thing. We need to restart the VS code if we are still getting the errors. So simply we will restart this VS code and then we will do it further. All files are saved now. You can see suddenly uh, the error has gone now and uh, I'm going to do the code further. So I will write something here as well. Okay, sublet mapping pasted here. You can see we have the welcome file which is index.jsp index and we have a sublet mapping. So I have used the servlet name and the server class as the same. But uh, my servlet will be called if we uh, send hello. So this is saved. This is simple uh, servlet.jsp uh, program which is already set up and this is ready. And inside the servlet you can see and this servlet will uh, process our request and simply uh, forward our request to the hello.jsp on the hello.jsp we have the simple thing but hello.jsp is not here so I'm going to create it inside the web app. Do the right click select the file and put the name hello.jsp and guys here we will write simple html like this way and uh, this will say hello cool it help. This is the title at line number six and the nine is the uh, h1 header uh, which will which is as a response and this will be returned as a response on the browser so guys this is the uh, server jsp web project with the help of maven that we have created this uh, web project is ready to run i hope you guys are clear on each and every steps of uh, creating a maven Servlet JSP web project in Visual Studio Code. So guys, uh, please watch my next video tutorial session in which I have explained to create a war file from this web project and we are going to deploy this war file on a Jetty server and then we will run our application and we will see everything is going perfectly fine or not. So guys, that's all for now. See you in next tutorial session. If you guys found this relevant and useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.